Olivia Newton-John has passed away at the age of 73. The sad news was shared by her family via social media. The British-Australian actress died peacefully at her ranch in Southern California Monday morning, her husband John Easterling said via Facebook. Olivia Newton-John was among the biggest stars of the 70s and 80s. She made a name for herself worldwide. She was the daughter of a Welshman and German. The native English woman moved to Australia when she was five years old. Due to a successful appearance in a talent show, she decided to go back to her homeland at the age of 15 and sign her first record deal in 1966. Thanks to her songs like Let Me Be There or I Honestly Love You, Olivia also became popular in the USA. She also received several awards for her songs throughout her career, including four Grammys. In 1978, Olivia Newton-John received an offer to star alongside John Travolta in the movie adaptation of the musical Grease. Starring in the iconic role of Sandy Olsen and singing hits like You're the One That I Want, she became world famous. Success followed her career with more acting roles and the launch of her most successful album, Physical. In 1992, during the time her father died, Olivia Newton-John was first diagnosed with breast cancer. In total, she contracted the disease three times. In 2013, the cancer returned and it spread to her shoulder in 2017. Olivia Newton-John went public with her diagnosis and spoke up about her illness. I want to get my body healthy and back in balance. Part of that is your mental attitude towards it. If you think poor me or I'm sick, then you're going to be sick, Olivia said in an interview for The Guardian. In 2019, she had to deny rumors of her imminent death with the press, I'm doing great, she said on a video on Twitter. At the time, Olivia's love life wasn't looking so great either. In 1996, she and Matt Latanzi got a divorce. Soon after, she moved in with cinematographer Patrick McDormand. He strangely disappeared and was reported missing in 2005 following a fishing trip. In 2008, Olivia Newton-John married her second husband, John Easterling, who was by her side until the end. Olivia has been a symbol of triumph and hope for over 30 years, sharing her journey with breast cancer, John Easterling said in a statement about Olivia's death on Instagram.